Hi, this is Paul, and today I'm going to show you just one technique for animating handwritten text. If you're using any sort of typeface that mimics handwriting or script in your After Effects project, you may find yourself wanting to animate it as if it's being written in letter by letter. So to do this, we're going to use the pen tool and the stroke effect. Now, this particular technique, while not perfect, will probably cover most of your needs. First, you'll need to create your text layer. And you'll want to make all of your decisions about scale and position and kerning and letting at this point, ahead of time. Because if you need to make any changes, you'll essentially need to start the animation all over again. Um, and if this is going to be part of a more comprehensive composition, I would recommend doing this in its own composition ahead of time and then nesting it in the primary composition later on. So I've got my text layer here, and I've just picked a font called Bradley Hand. It's got a little bit of a handwriting look to it. So next, we're going to select the pen tool, which is up here in the toolbar. I'm just going to zoom in to make it a little bit easier to see. And I'm going to begin drawing a series of masks right onto the text layer. It's important to have your text layer selected when you begin this step. Otherwise, you'll just end up creating a new shape layer rather than a proper mask on the text. So using the pen tool, we just draw like this. And you'll want to draw down the center of each character. And if you need to create a new line segment, you can just hold Command and click and start another one. And you'll want to do this in the order that you would write the text in if you were actually writing it by hand. So I'll dot this I. And it doesn't have to be really perfect, but you want to get pretty close. If you're unfamiliar with the pen tool or Bezier curves, um, it may take a little bit of trial and error to get this right. Um, but in the end, you should have a relatively accurate tracing of the text you've typed out. And if you need to, you can sort of do it with just uh, straight lines, a series of straight lines. So you can see on this L here, I won't do any curves. I'll just do it with a series of clicks. That works too. And certain typefaces, if they have a varying width, might not respond to this technique as well. This font should do just fine, though. OK, so now that that's done, we have a relatively accurate tracing of our typeface. Now, to get this to draw itself, we're going to select the stroke effect, which is located here under Generate. And we're going to apply it right to our same text layer. Now, we'll want to make sure that all masks and strokes sequentially are both on. And we'll want to make this color something different from our actual text. I'll just choose this red. You'll want to increase the brush size until the stroke following the mask completely obscures the original text. And you'll want to turn the brush hardness all the way up to 100. Now, the color ultimately doesn't matter. We're not, this is not going to be the final product. Uh, since what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to Paint Style and change it to Reveal Original Image. And this will turn the entire stroke into a mask, which determines the visibility of the text underneath it. Finally, we're going to click the clock icon at the, on the end parameter. And we're going to turn it all the way down to 0. And then we're going to move our playhead forward a few seconds. And we're going to crank this end parameter all the way back up to 100. Now, where, how far you move the playhead forward um, is just indicative of how long the animation will go for. So if I uh, select my layer and twirl down here to Effects, Stroke, 
and we can see here, here's the duration of my animation, and now we can see it playing out. And so I've got about a two second animation. And if I do a RAM preview. So what we've done is created a path for the stroke effect to follow. At our first keyframe, we told the stroke to cover 0% of that path, while at our second keyframe, we told it to cover 100% of our path. And in between, the path illustrates on the same order that we created the masks, thanks to enabling stroke sequentially and all masks on the stroke effect. Finally, because we used reveal original image, we see the original typeface and not the stroke effect itself. This same technique can be used on any type of layer to simulate a drawing effect. Uh, it's not just limited to type. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions, and thanks very much for watching.